Okay, so last time we did a story quest and I've been pretty busy off camera and when I mean busy, I mean I was clearing the map so I basically have this whole next area filled out. I have all the main teleport points. I didn't really go to these parts like I did with some of them, but I haven't gone there yet because I can pretty much go there anytime, so it doesn't really matter. But I got all of the teleporters. There is so many teleporters. I mean, look at this. Compared to this, like, there's literally nothing in Liyue. And we go to this next area. Yeah, there's a lot of teleporters. So I'm pretty sure the next part of the story is going to be pretty big. So for now, let's just go up here and figure out what's going on. Also, um, I'm adventure rank 30. World level 3, which honestly kind of sucks because, well, I, I read this and ascension quest is like pretty much with the every 5 levels or I guess every 10 levels technically so 25 35 45 and 50 because why not so yeah i'm kind of in world level three i'm just making things harder to myself for no reason at all but it's okay we can manage hopefully because the whole grind for basically traveling all around here i got adventure rank 30 doing all of this so it wasn't too bad. Like I was still able to take on bosses like this. So it wasn't too bad. And if I can take on some of those little mini bosses. I'm pretty confident that I can survive like this. And I don't know why we're going this way. Because isn't the palace that way? I guess the first thing we're doing is climbing a mountain. Because... Well, I thought it was the other way. And I can't climb this way. Great. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff I could be doing. And I'm for sure, this time, I'm for sure not going to rank up above 35. Because that's my max rank right now. Unless I absolutely have to. If I don't have to, I won't do it. Because I am just making things harder. As you can see, those guys... Before, when we got a little peek at their level, they're level 44. So, yeah. That's fun. I still need to ascend my characters. I still need to get artifacts, upgrade my weapons and stuff. I still haven't used my gems because I want to see what the next, like, banners are. And I don't really know... What is a good character? I don't know what kind of team formation I want. All I know is that I want something with our character, the Traveler. Whether you choose Lumine or Aether. I want something with them because honestly I like playing as them. Okay, I'm up here. Look up there! That's the Jade Chamber! The only thing that makes sense to get up there is like some kind of really strong wind current that can lead us from here to all the way there. And I think I'm right. Uh, 
Uh, try using the mechanism. Okay, that doesn't work. That works. Okay. And I... Was I supposed to leave this thing earlier? Nope, those rings disappeared. Those rings disappeared. Let me go back. Okay. Let me activate this. Alright. Now we go. I don't think those rings are necessary. Okay. Went up here for this chest. I'll take it. I'll keep this close. There was nothing in there but two gems. Oh my gosh. Um, the ballistas that way. Why do they only give stuff like two gems? Sometimes even one, I think. When to get a full multi, it's basically a thousand six hundred. If you want to use your gems, like that is so much. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Ballista. Let's avoid that guy for now. Let me get my stamina back. I don't want to die. Slowly. Amber. And we go down. Alright. Nice and slow. Okay, let's land. Alright. Nice and safe. If we ever have to do something like this again, I'm checking windows first. If you didn't see it, I was pretty dumb. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ningwen's plan all along! She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us! Ugh. Now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! Alright, I guess we're immediately fighting. I always like how they never let us explain ourselves. Like in any game. Literally in any game. They like never let you explain yourselves first. They just immediately treat you as the bad guy. Did the other guy fall or is he still here? Okay, good. Why am I on a wall? Yeah, look at that. They're level 49. They should not be level 49 right now. Oh my gosh. I think if I were to do this at like world rank 2, I believe they would only be like around the 30s. Or even low 40s. Yeah. Probably. Um, and now they're in the almost 50. They're pretty much level. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Okay, Barbara, we need you. Does anyone know like a decent uh, Barbara build that I can do for healing? 
and I need to get off the walls. Oh my gosh. Let me just use this. Yeah, I need a decent healing build. I know Barbara, from based on reading her skills at least, uh, you need to give her a, like a ton of help. But I'm not too sure what is good. I was thinking full instructor for peace. But again, I'm not too sure. Same thing for uh, Shang Ling. I'm just using whatever I have. I don't actually know what to get. Right now I have uh, a two piece that does that gives pyro damage because her uh, her burst is honestly insane, <laughs> and she can just I could have just used her this whole time. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, I still like her normal attacks. Why am I on a wall? It's like every time you like get close to a wall, it just immediately grabs it. Come on, please die. Stop. What's all this about? Lady Kuching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs of the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Lira Chisi. Who are you? <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Lira Chisi. I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Baima never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Chising. <sighs> that was. Huh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yuhang, might you have any idea why Lady Tian Tran invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liyue as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't Respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll 
I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Liyue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber is the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But... but... Wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Liyue's culture! We need to get one! Not to curry favor or anything, just to... Respect Liyue's culture! Alright, alright. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then. May we meet again, Traveler. Well, that Yuhang may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! Sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka. Let's go gather ingredients. Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. All right, where are we going? Look for the ingredients Paimon needs. All right, down here we go. So we actually didn't go need to go to this mountain or a mountain. Why? Alright. Um. Wait, three ingredients. Why do I only see two markers? I just noticed that. Interesting. There's gonna be a third marker somewhere. That's probably just the whole cooking process. Maybe. Yeah, just maybe. What are, what are we even getting? Besides, like, slime and stuff. I mean, I have slime. Why can't we just use my materials, you know? Ooh, look at that slime! It looks crystal clear! And very delicious! That's the one! Level 49 slimes, oh my gosh. No, please no. There we go. No drops, wow. Um... That way... All right. The one time I want to climb, they're not climbing. Hey, look at that, level 44. I probably shouldn't have gone to Adventure Rank 30. But there was so many teleporters, I kind of couldn't help it. Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Huh? Did you hear that? Uh, no! That was definitely someone in trouble. It came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. Level 49. Oh my gosh. Yep, I'm definitely, for sure, not going past uh, Adventure Rank 35 for a while until I'm properly set up. Okay, what's this? Wait, I just got the ingredient that Paimon needed. Oh my gosh. This was world rank 2, I, I would have killed him already. Come on, we can do this. I even ascended some of my characters. I did prioritize Shangling though. So, I need her to carry right now. No, Barbara. I need to ascend Barbara. Unless there's like a better healer I can use. But I like Barbara's healing. It's pretty good. Especially especially since like you can just use her skills and her burst. Pretty much it does the whole healing. 
All right, we're ready. <laughs> Come on. Can I just open this thing? Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> All right, who has? Do you have the key? I think I have to beat everyone. There we go. Last person. I don't want to go down there, but they're going to make me go down there, aren't they? They're not going to make me go down there. Good. Alright. Cage key. Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Oh, I was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liyue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. Wait a moment. Actually, we are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon Sugar Frosted Slime now comes in a beautiful package. I don't even know what I did to get all three requirements. All I know is that I got slime and something that was like right here. But we will take it. Um, go here. I don't know if it's faster to just glide there. Especially because I still don't know my way around. I think it is faster. Because we can just do this. Right? Is it faster? I should probably try to learn my way around here. Though I don't know how much longer we're going to be around here. Is Act 3 the last act or is there a fourth one? There might be a fourth one. Especially since we haven't really done anything to like... Rex yet, you know? Rex Lapis. Alright. Is it... It's downstairs, okay. Here we go. already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique, with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yep, yep, yep! It's great! Hang on a moment! Can we borrow one other thing? Sure, please help yourselves. As long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it goes and dust it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. Woohoo! It looks beautiful! Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang! Okay, now where am I headed? That way. Okay. And once again... I do not know my way around the town. 
I could just do this. I love teleporters. I really do. Even if you don't know your way, they're just there to save you at any given time. Alright. But why is the, like, entrance to the chamber down here rather than, like, having some magic staircase, you know? Alright. Send me to the chamber. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? Yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. Ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of which, are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuhang. What's going on here? I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Karst. <gasps> it's Ningguang! Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. <laughs> I'm glad you like it too. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber. But I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, who spoke highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Virg Goldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Virgildet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <gasps> at the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings. I thought we got to play as her for a little bit, because she was in front of our character. But nice place, oh my gosh, he wants us to cover basically the whole world? That's a really big idea. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tibet. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation, 
Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? <laughs> that day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Huh? What are you two talking about? Well answered. Uh, huh? <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed. But the wind is a little strong. Our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. So are we going to know what happened to Rex Lapis? And what are we going to do exactly? This is actually a nice place. Can I teleport here? I just noticed that. I don't think so. I think this is a one-time, like, travel point. That would be really nice if I could just teleport here. Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. Can we really? I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Naturally. Oh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. That's because even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah. No. I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Qixing, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Indeed, it seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. With Rex Lapis's death, 
The Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli says. The Qixing only provided the venue for the rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Violence heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something in return. So, does that include us? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Yay! Paimon was just waiting for you to say that! Let's see, what should we get? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall! Don't look at Paimon like that! One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices, even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail! Just imagine! How much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for? Let's grab one! The biggest one! They're actually making us grab the paper, oh my gosh. And she's okay with this? Didn't she say that this was like... Basically everything of Liyue? And she's gonna let us take it. Oh wait, let's grab more stuff. Alright. Any... Oh, we are just taking more stuff. I saw that. Where was it? There we go. Anything else we can take? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, let's take the paper. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. Let's see what's written over here. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. <gasps> This piece of paper shows that a cheesing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paimon wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we not go then? Oh, so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm... That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's been nothing but good to us. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. Okay. He really didn't question. Like anything that's honestly very surprising is she gonna say anything so you don't have to confirm it with me just choose one and take it afterwards why not sit down for a while in the jade chamber or have a short stroll rest is also an integral part of any journey come now there's no need to stand on ceremony loosen up a little Okay, she literally does not care. Fair enough, I guess. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. She just 
pretty much gave us information for free. All right, let's get out of here. A thousand meters. So about right here. That's not... Oh, there's one right... There's a teleporter right here. Well, anyways. For now, I think we're going to end it off here. We got a lot to do next time. We're going to possibly fight Fatui people. We have to meet with Zhongli. Possibly see if we can trust Ningguang or not. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I feel like this act is going to be decently long too. So I'll end it here and wait, most importantly, I can't teleport. No, I, I like this area. I could literally fly to anywhere. And she is lying when she says this is taller than any mountain. I see that mountain over there. It looks taller than this building. Well, I guess for now, I'll end it here. And next time we're going to be dealing with whatever is here and don't worry no offline grinding because well i kind of don't want to over i guess i shouldn't say over level i should say like i don't want to up my adventure rank too fast right now even though it won't really up world rank until i do the ascension quest but still i'll slow down a little bit i need to learn more about this game anyway I'll end it here, and we'll see you next time.